we speak about evidence, you know, in general, it means that as an artist, you always have to have um, a record, a good record keeping of everything that you do, all your transactions. Uh, a lot of Wasanis will be like, ah, ilikuwa phone call. I'm like, ata kama ilikuwa phone call, immediately, kama kwa karibu na laptop, tuma message kwa WhatsApp uh, or email from your phone and say, hey, thanks for the conversation we had. Yeah? We agreed to na collab kwa blah, blah, blah. Tuli agree one, two, three. Um, so uh, we're doing a contract or something. Like, just recap that conversation in writing. I had somewhere, nataka mm-hmm. unieke sawa. Mm-hmm. At if it's Fels featuring Buju, mm-hmm. then it means song near somebody, ni one of them, and then the other one was just yeah, in Alinda India. Yeah, so even remember, I gave an example to Kifanya collab. Yeah, 60 yeah. 40 percent. Yeah, something like that. Ebu sasa so, niweke kisawa kutumia yu example ya Fels and featuring Buju. So, tuseme, I'm an artist, right? Uh, I'm doing a song. Sindio, I hear you're very killer, you're a killer rapper. I already know how I want it to sound and feel. The reason I'm even asking you to be on this ngoma is because how you deliver your rap. Sindio. So I holler at you and I say, hey, natuwa ngoma, I want you to feature you as an artist. Ngoma ni yangu. So I'm basically saying you're a feature, featured artist or featuring demo. Um, so that's what it means. So which means the song is predominantly mine. If it's mine, it means also kumka nilisema story story distribution kwa hiyo hybrid split sheet. Na maanisha sasa hiyo ngoma ni yangu mimi ndo nita distribute. So si wewe utaka kwa YouTube yako. It's me who has the right to decide how it will flow. Um, I'm the one to itakuwa probably kwa album yangu. Kama unataka kwa album yako, then maybe at a later date maybe we might do a remix alafu iko kwa album yako so that there's a variety kiasi, right? Um, so but featuring means it's mine. I'm the one in control. I'm controlling the distribution. I'm controlling all the rights. I'm responsible now for making sure you you get your share. That's what it means. Yeah. What about sasa in this case fails the moja song. Mhm. Buja mekua to feature. Yeah, What I about so. Buja wakuja kwa tribunal la seme, uh, you know venye miu flow. Rhymes uh-huh. zangu. Uh, Zili zufaya hii kiti kasel sana. So hata kama fails ni Buja song, mm-hmm. look, uh, inafaya to revise hii percentage. Uh, tu, nikula ata, hui ya pate 52, mi ni pate 48. Haiwe zikuwa 60-40. Anakuja hivu na, ana insist hivu kwa tribunal. Mm-hmm. As a, a lawyer, as a chair mm-hmm. kwa tribunal. How do you go about that case? So it will boil down to evidence. Evidence it include contract, your contract will sign. Kulikuwa na emails, kama kulikuwa na emails, all that stuff. Um, we'd, we'd probably also analyze the conduct, all these things, the actions. Uh, but a lot of, now in terms of evidence that Mta Leta, it might include, the, it will include the contract, emails, SMSs, or whatever. And then of course we'll also, Angalia, why, why, why are you, do you want to revise it? Yeah, does it make sense? looking at the evidence. Because uh, you remember I said, so, for argument's sake, see, we may sign contract. Yeah? Well, we shall agree. So, how, what is making it, what is invalidating this contract? Because there are very few things that will invalidate a contract. Yeah? Uh, either will minor, ama will be coerced. That means you are unlawfully forced to sign a contract um, or something. Right? So now, what is it that you're showing to show, to claim that we need to alter this contract where there was a meeting of the minds and now you want us to change it. So unless, it depends on the evidence of letter. And, and, you know, when now we speak about evidence, you know, in general, it means that as an artist, you always have to have um, a record, keep, a good record keeping of everything that you do, all your transactions. Uh, a lot of Wasanis will be like, ah, ilikuwa phone call. I'm like, ata kama ilikuwa phone call, immediately, kama kwa karibu na laptop, tuma message kwa WhatsApp, uh, or email from your phone and say, hey, thanks for the conversation we had. Yeah? We agreed to na collab kwa blah, blah, blah. Tuli agree one, two, three. Um, so uh, we are doing a contract or something. Like just recap that conversation in writing. Yeah. Because kama ni phone call, itakuwa he said, she said. Sasa, tamini nani, tuwache nani, sort of thing. So which means then you have to always have your trail of um, records properly kept on every transaction pertaining to your IP. Kama ni ngoma, kama ni film, kama ni software, kama ni nini, everything. So emails, always have it in writing. Sa ingine unasikia muta mepata 2000. Mm-hmm. Na songi yake kono heavy rotation, yeah, hey. uh, lafo mekuja kuleta kesi kama yoko nye tribunal. Mm-hmm. How do you go about it? Do you just say, mm, maybe it's, uh, we are referring this to MCSK, Prisk, because I want to understand this V2. Or how do you even enforce? Uh, you feel like, yeah. For real, mm-hmm. eh, ni kwa nikipanda mat, nikienda dunda, nasikia maze, 
it's almost and Josh is deadly mm-hmm. and imekuwa ikicheza lakini huyu msema amepewa tao mbili unasikia OG the calligraph when I say my miss Taki I saw miss Taki his entire life yeah. alafu anakuja na 1500 so you need jurisdiction ya collective management organizations organizations right is it most indio who are licensed by Kekobo so kuna option mbili kwanza as I'm sani I feel aggrieved mwanzo nitaenda Kekobo I say Kekobo hey bana this is what I received Really like what is the compliance like now engage fast Kekobo and then if you feel like you need an appeal or something now you find a way now to bring it to the tribunal to say uh, this is what we need now you might find that kutakuwa na some nuances that are not expressly in the act in terms of jurisdiction yetu so it amanisha parties wakikubali sawa tuko na dispute to the copyright tribunal yeah so now they will expressly agree uh, and then they will wata and they say sasa tumekubali this case he will take it to the tribunal so that now they give us the power now to analyze because otherwise if i go within our jurisdiction under the act na hapo watu wamekosana they might have to go to the high court because atuna hiyo express jurisdiction but they can give us express jurisdiction through a contract waseme acha tuende tribunal pangali story faster faster so sasa wakisha hii letter na sisi tutaanza kuangalia uh, what is the issue uh, we may ask uh, the cmo okay mlikol ini 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 royalty ya nini so na kumka i said they, they collect two types of, of royalties right kuna what you call public performance or performance in public places is only restaurants pubs clubs blah 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 right public places alafu kuna broadcasting royalty so utapata they usually have two types of distributions in a year what are distribute royalties are public performance and broadcasting royalty so it depend and i think soon also they might introduce digital but it depend so then based on that now if you're challenging that then utakuja pia na what is your evidence what document were you given by the the respective cmo like walisema walikulipa like now you want to get all that info and then that's probably now what you will challenge and then we'll see um so it will also depend now vile pia ume frame kesi but uzuri pia tribunal iko iko flexible so we'll be able to say okay we we are identifying the following as the issues nini nini then um to not agree how the case will flow yeah because we are flexible but um you know kama ni a specific issue that atuna jurisdiction itabidi wame kubaliana because the other thing we are seeing is that where hakuna express jurisdiction kwa law utapata because i want to waste your time to tend a court tend a high court right because i'm like maybe i'm benefiting from that delay so, and that's what i'm saying we need to start fighting fair right let me go to let's agree to two kwanza kwa tribunal kuna expertise they can review this thing faster alafu tuone if we don't agree with how they applied the law acha to the high court yeah at least even that will help you even manage your business and what not because you, they will already the first court of instance which is us isha kupatia an inclination of how the law should be applied so already ata maybe una, unenda appeal maybe you're just trying your chances you're hoping that the interpretation will be different but at least you a project how your biz is going or where it could go sindio yeah now that you've mentioned the jurisdiction of the tribunal mm-hmm. oh, what are you guys limited to alasa to jue okay uh, outside this mm-hmm. we we go to the high court we say from the tribunal mm-hmm. kwa hierarchy of courts in high yeah. court right yeah so and I, i even said this earlier we we have certain matters we can listen to if there's a dispute of a registration of a copyright yeah if um, a cmo wants to appeal a decision made by kenya copyright board if a cmo feels like their license has been unreasonably withheld by uh, kekobo they can uh, appeal that um if um, a user sorry um if if a uh, a person feels aggrieved um that you know like there's evidence somewhere that will show that um their copyright was being infringed or something and they need that um evidence preserved so kwa mfano uh, for argument for this conversation sake to say me you guys are playing my song without my authorization iko kwa sava yenu right and i had that maybe teri ni best yangu ameniambia So already by virtue of just seeing hey, Terry Terry could lose her job blah 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 I already know then I can uh, I can apply to the tribunal and these are what we call expert orders you don't need to be there for me to whatever but I now have to show to the tribunal that there is an imminent danger e evidence will be tampered with hakifem what I delete so immediately I do an application uh, if we are convinced then we issue that order and then you'll be served with an order saying iso sabazenu msizishike we need to come and preserve this kwa sababu kuna case ina come 
and we need to preserve and make sure that now this person can actually prove that you've you've been interfering with their copyright or with their intellectual property and whatnot. So we have that jurisdiction. We can issue Anton Pila awards. Um, the other jurisdiction we have is um, where there is um, um, f uh, access to works, foreign works, and you need a license, and someone has, who doesn't want to grant you um, access to the work, then you go to Kekobo, then Kekobo issues an, uh, a decision and you're unhappy with that decision, then, you know, so basically any decisions by Kekobo that you're unhappy with, you can come to the tribunal. Then there's another section that we usually like it's it's very interesting it only says that if um, musical works is used in a broadcast without the authorization of the author it can come to us for fair compensation but on a, it's, on, it's not only musical works that can be used without the author's consent Cindy, remember i talked about all these other properties that are protected by in copyright musical works uh, audiovisual works sound recordings artistic works film la 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 like you know there was a whole array of things that can be used without your authorization so for now unfortunately they're only saying musical works um in a used in a in a audiovisual works in a broadcast or something like that so unona already your mandate is restricted but kuna all this other ip and that's why was, when i talked about the mischief of the law was that that tri tribunal ilikuapia kuskiza all the other issues kwenye tribunal ndo nasema sasa because hakuna hiyo express tunakubaliana si tunataka ku save time and money tunataka kusikizwa tujue vile tunamaliza hii story tuendelee na biashara si ndio so that's what ADR means now tunasema sawa eh tukienda high court tutawaste time but tumesikia tuko na copyright tribunal so let's agree let's write let's um, have a consent and say we have an a disagreement we have an issue we'll go to the copyright tribunal to be our court of first instance wa tusikize alafu kama tuko na tuko, atuko happy tutenda high court then you within 60 days sisi tushakupatia judgment or ruling if you're not happy on an a, a point of law because appeal is always on a point of law not fact then sasa you can go to the high court kusikizwa sometimes you can just do that but ukifika high court if they feel like hakuna merit ya appeal itakuwa dismissed na utaambiwa why it's been dismissed uh, but generally we are telling artists we are telling rights holders we are telling people in the copyright industries because ip has a shelf life of a banana because this industry is very fast paced you need adr who is your best partner the copyright tribunal kama hatuna express jurisdiction kubalia nini kwa mkataba in a contract and say we want to come to the tribunal and and you start from there much easier must faster and faster because even you can appeal high court the appeal will be faster because tushafanya home work yote for the high court yeah umesema appeal is on a point of law mm. and not a fact what does that mean it means that ukikuja the first time you're coming out to, to your first court of instance which is a tribunal kuja na kila kitu evidence yako yote make sure you've covered all your bases yeah because you can assess on a point of of uh, fact and appeal utaulizwa what happened so now they'll start looking into that and then they'll decide whether it's on merit or not depending on the circumstances yeah it is the work of the artist mm -hmm. to make sure or may register their artistry yes your your ip is your shamba you're in charge of it it's the mm -hmm. same way to nikienda kununua shamba see um i feel like i've spent a lot of money right I'll, I'll, there's no way nitai chia mtu mwingine anifanye hiyo shughuli so it should be the same thing with your craft yeah take control it's an intangible asset see kashamba you can see it or or whatever but it's it's also an asset because as africans we've always been like shamba and your property but when now we're looking at also what are intangible assets there's something like intangible assets which is intellectual property the creations of the mind your music yako your film your software your architectural designs all that stuff so then that means you have to do everything in your power to assert that right to show that in yango how do you do that you register you sign the right contracts you're in the right spaces ukiwa online uko kwa mtandao you're also policing your work so that immediately you see someone using your work without your authorization unachapa na season desist what not take them you know bring them to court or the tribunal or whatever the case may be making sure that you're following up your money like hiyo ni kazi yako ni shamba yako nani mwingine atakuwa driver si ni wewe acha tuna roda mtu an artist um sasa tengeneza song mhm mimi si mimi na, na, najua ashafanya hizo procedures zote. Mhm. Mm Alafu wao wanani text na on WhatsApp mostly. Mm -hmm. Mapea bana ndio hii link ya song yangu mpya nimepost wapi YouTube. Mm -hmm. Get it? And mm -hmm. they uh, put it on heavy rotation sometimes they, they would suggest to you that. Uh -huh. So me I know amefanya due diligence play their part but then akufuata hivyo. Mhm. Mm Akufanya lafu song yake ime hit bana. 
Eh, anasaka wili pol. Sio squeeze songs zake zime hit. Hiyo song ni nilianzisha kucheza ni Lilo Japa hivi Haki FM Law and Justice Show. Mhm. Anaenda kunisu baada ya sijamlipa. Eh, ama kupata anything. So, eh mimi nitakuja nijitetea je kwa Si wewe broadcaster. <laughs> yeah or you're a you're a user which means wewe contract yako iko with CMOs. So as long as you can prove you 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 are licensed by the CMO. Dasani kama CMO aku lipa hiyo ni yao but you you just do your part. Your part is making sure you have the respective license, you pay the CMOs for the usage, for the broadcast, uko na umepea na your login sheets and everything. You've done your part. Any trends in uh, artistry ama intellectual properties and you know feel mtu anafaa kujua that could affect uh, how they go about uh, uh, fighting for their rights. I think um it's just you no know, being in the right partnerships. I think cuz na just said like now we have so many players in the sector if it's film we have so many players so many distribution platforms music the same thing uh if you're in software so many people are trying to change their businesses and they're commissioning software developers so like i said it's just about the right partnerships having the right contracts i think that's always the the forever theme or trend when it comes to ip and transactions and how you make money and how you secure and then of course register 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 like you have to register your ip secure your ip yeah that's what i would say like cuz your trend it's always it's it never changes mm parting shots um parting shot i would say that you know if you are an artist always invest in yourself show up for events industry events and learn because the good thing is now people don't just show up just to eat and drink people also sit down to share ideas and share knowledge you know um kalasha film market and festival will be coming up soon you know for the filmmakers who are listening budding filmmakers come for that event um be part of the conversations the screenings even you as a as a consumer you love the the arts film kujeni kalasha support the industry um so show up for events you know show up um for meetings you know like cmos are member uh, organizations ndio so which means the respective wasanis you show up for your meetings show up for your agms be in control of your art um and you know invest in yourself and f- learn the art of finding the right people in your ecosystem right um find the experts who will help you um and you know just hope that you'll cultivate what we call EQ emotional intelligence could you appear when someone is lying to you or they are you know um bluffing and you know anataka tu kuingiza box right um but yeah i'd say invest in yourself take time before you sign a contract uh your story at it sign say ya madili na expire kuna shida you know I've, i've been in situations where I, I, i get an email and napata email 9 pm at least at check this contract that we have we have until 8 am to prepare a response i'm like bra <laughs> kuna shida na your contract already if that is the case even you ask yourself why are they hiring you up you're supposed to actually sit down process and internalize a, a transaction or a business deal before you sign Um so I think it's it's always important that you you are in control. So whenever you're not in control, take a seat back. This is your craft. This is your ship. <laughs> If you're not in control, kuna shida. Um yeah, so right teams and what not. Keep investing in yourself. Learning is an ongoing process. Mtu akitaka kukupata. Unasema mimi na hizi kana kwamba I literally want Liz. Liz ndio atanisaidia. Sitaki hata tribunal. Anaweza kupata api tukianza na social media handles. Social media, I'm on X formally twitter <laughs> uh x uh so liz lenjo uh, underscore kags uh but if you just google me liz you'll find me liz lenjo um instagram liz lenjo underscore kags facebook i have a public page um liz mkamboi lenjo um kamboi is my maiden name uh yeah and uh i'm trying to to be active on tiktok <laughs> my age shows I'm still struggling with that platform but to traffic up it's a lot of time investment um and then email leads at myip.lawyer like actually email is much easier for social media to niama pepe hype hype and everything uh, leads at myip myip.lawyer and awa